Gabriel again. So this video, I just wanted to show you a whole arsenal of herbs I got because I had mentioned somewhere before that I was going to start experimenting and making my whole product line, which I don't intend to sell. I just want to see if I can actually do it. So I think this will be a fun experiment and I like doing it anyway. So yeah, the first thing I did, I had this crazy thought that I would make a super, super butter, like take all the butters that are naturally occurring and then mix them all up with a little bit of oil to form a super butter and so i bought kapkua butter kokum butter lipe butter cocoa butter african butter and shea butter so i have um several of those this is elipe butter now all these three elipe kokum and kapkua are hard like uh, shea uh not like shea like cocoa butter so this is what it looks like this is um elipe and that's it has a, a, a clear yellow tint to it. This one is Kapkua. Looks like that. And this one is Kokum, which is like almost like a, a cocoa butter. So I've used this before and I really like it. So at the Lotion Crafter store, the woman recommended these three butters. Um, and I have to do a little bit of research on them before I use them so I know how they will react to heat or, you know, emulsions with water. So yeah, but yeah, those are to make my super, super butter. Okay. And as far as art goes, I have like a whole arsenal. Yeah, I know. I went a little crazy here. So I got um, catnip. Which is really good um, I got hostel hostel I guess and this is in liquid and that's the other thing I wasn't sure if I wanted them in like oh, oops, sorry I wasn't sure if I wanted them like this in uh, like just crushed or powder so kind of got a little of everything um, this is nettle leaf and looks like that and all of these herbs that I'm showing you are from mountain rose herbs this is bardock root powder. Oh yeah, it looks like that. Chamomile powder, which I will also use as a facial mask. Mix it with some um, amla or something like that. So it looks like that. Uh, oh, okay, that's something different. This is lavender flower. Also can be combined with chamomile to make a facial mask. Yep. And I have comfrey root. Then I have marigold, which is calendula. Great. Oh, it looks like that. Let's see. Uh, I don't know what held them. Oh wait, that's a tea, so it's something different. It's also a tea, something different. This is Egyptian chamomile. Looks like that. Not to be confused with calendula, which looks like that. <sighs> Let's see. Parsley. Look like that. Um, hostel, which is shaved grass, and it looks like that. This is burdock root, which I also have as a powder, I believe. Okay, I don't know where it is, but I also have it as a powder, and this is what it looks like. It's very hard because it's, it's a root so it's really hard and I'm not sure how to work with that. Have cold foot leaves. They're just crushed and this is really good for hair. This is garlic. Wasn't really necessary to buy it but I like that it's dried so I don't have to worry about it going bad. So it's just minced garlic. And this is ginger root. Just regular ginger, it's dried up. And comfrey leaf, looks like that. 
and finally for the herbs I have rosemary again it wasn't necessary to buy this you could probably get it in your pantry or in your spice rack if you cook a lot but um, yeah I thought this was a better uh, price that, rather than the one that is meant for cooking so yeah okay then I found some teas which I love and I also asked for a recommendation based on uh, my feelings at the time like what I wanted to achieve with my body at the time and these were the teas that were recommended some of them I've tried some of them I haven't but um, the ones that I've tried I love um, the first one is uh, this eight herb tea now these ones all don't have caffeine except one they're all herbal teas and all you do is just use the tea thing and you just put it in a cup and I like to put honey instead of sugar in it and this is the eight herbal tea and as you can see it's just like it looks like just like leaves and this one has spearmint rosemary lemon eucalyptus uh, blackberry leaf and wood betony and it's just a very soothing tea and I like that and this one has caffeine in it this is chai uh, from india it's a combination of cinnamon ginger cardamom black tea cloves and black pepper haven't really even opened that one and this one is what they call the get smart tea because i was saying that at 3 p.m i kind of crash so i wanted something that i can drink in the afternoon and it will just re-energize or boost give me a boost of energy and just you know uh, wake me up so they recommended this one which is uh peppermint go to cola lemongrass ginkgo marigold uh licorice and damiana and i haven't even tried it and Chamomint tea, just a combination of chamomile and uh, mint, uh, peppermint, and it looks like that. This one you could probably make if you have, because I have mint leaves and I have chamomile, I could probably just combine the herbs and make this tea, but it's convenient to have it this way. Oh yeah, this is another herb I have. This is a uh, wild carrot. Yeah, I know, I did go a little crazy here. So this is wild carrot. I've used a little bit of this because I tried to infuse it and then I realized that it was, it's not going to work because it's too hard. You need a softer herb to be able to do that. So um, it's going to require a different method to extract this one. Not sure yet, but I'm going to research on that. Uh, let's see. Oh, and finally is this one, which is the Relax and Digest Tea and i like to take this after meals and it has peppermint ginger orange peel lemon balm chamomile rose petals papaya leaf and fennel the reason why i like this one is because of papaya leaf when i was younger my mom would make us eat the papaya what we call popo in kenya and she would make us eat it after dinner and i i hated i i hate 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 papaya so my mother would make us eat it and then when i saw this tea and it had papaya in it and i asked the woman if it has that papaya flavor to it she said no and i was like oh excited so it's become one of my favorite teas this is actually my third or fourth bag this one along with the um the eight herbs these have become my favorite tea they have some similarities like the mint and the rosemary so uh, yeah, they've become like my favorite teas and they'll probably end up in my favorites uh, of the month So yeah, as you can see I did go a little crazy with the herbs, but I'm looking forward to experimenting and just playing uh, about with these herbs for my hair and probably skin and Yeah, so that's it. I will talk to you guys on the next concoction. Bye